when I got the idea for my business, I spoke to a friend of mine about the way I wanted to run my business and he suggested that I should come to FIT to do a course in entrepreneurship and I was shocked to find out that I had absolutely no business knowledge despite the fact that I was learned. My colleague at work told me about Faith Foundation. Prior to that time I didn't know Faith Foundation and he was aware of my entrepreneurial uh, intentions. So I attended AEP4 in 2002 and at that uh, program I wrote the business plan for Environmental Accord Limited. I kept telling myself for, for a long time, if you're going to go forwards in life, you're going to have to go out and get the answers. So I, I went in for the EEP course and during the course of the EEP program, I was able to test some of the questions I had and I was able to answer a lot of them. And as you can see, that was quite a few years ago. Today, Millennium Apartments is a new expression of the avenue. So for impact, all the courses with Faith Foundation were fantastic. However, if I have to go back to one singular moment in time, I'll take it back to that moment. The EEP 15, my decision to sign up for that and to engage wholeheartedly in that EEP training session was what transformed me from the avenue mentality into where we are today. The Emerging Entrepreneurs Program was basically to school entrepreneurs. It taught strategy, taught how to manage our books, how to keep our books, marketing. So it was the entire works, the knowledge, the information that anybody would require or need to run a business. So I was able to apply those skills. I was able to apply the knowledge. I was able to apply the concepts. And that experience typifies the challenges that entrepreneurs face in Nigeria. Then and today, Faith Foundation is a tremendous support platform for entrepreneurs in Nigeria. The good thing about Faith is even when you become an alumnus, there's a, an ongoing relationship, you know, it, it just doesn't end. So being having a relationship, an existing relationship with Faith has helped me, you know, to evolve over time and, and learn things. Again, the reason why it's so difficult to leave Faith is they don't just feed you with information and leave you. You know, there is this hand holding, there is this support system. In terms of giving back to Faith itself as an institution, it would only be an ungrateful person who wouldn't do that, you know. And From speaking to younger people in the AEP who are new to, to, to being an entrepreneur, telling them stories about losing big, big business deals because I didn't keep my records, showing them and telling them those things directly as someone who has experienced that, I've seen the impact that it makes. Knowledge is a continuum and you cannot know it all. So that's the kind of support that Faith Foundation provides. I have been able to give back in the area of facilitation, mentoring. I have a lot of friends in Faith Foundation. I mean friends when I say businesses, business owners, you know. And then I've remained in the Faith Foundation ecosystem so that I could benefit from the different support systems that that platform provides. So to my fellow graduates, <laughs> I'd like to encourage us to um, try and make sure that we practice what we've been taught. And always go back, you know, because it's not just hearing it in class. Go back and try to apply it to your business. Remain close to the Faith Foundation uh, ecosystem and take advantage of the tremendous opportunities. Self-development is key. Your business and your life is only going to be as big and as strong as you are. So keep going and keep going. My name is Mona Lisa Abimbola Aze. I am Ibrahim Salao. I'm Rosalind Onolaja. I am Mr. Max Menkiti, a part of the Faith family, and I'm a success story. I'm a member of the Faith family, and I'm a success story. I'm a member of the Faith family, and I am a success story. I'm a member of the Faith family, and I am a success story.